एवरीवन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू कैसे हो आप लोग आई एम गुलाब सा योर मेंटोर एंड आई वेलकम यू वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ आरबीआई 247 whereby on a regular basis we discuss the current financial happenings around us and since the RBI grade B 2023 exam is coming forward so i hope and i wish that all of you have started your preparation and start your preparation from now because this is the right time for you to start your preparation for the 2023 exams and therefore watch all of these series video chahe wo rb247 ho pib247 ho ya fir aapke daily current affairs ho all of these are going to help you in performing well in your examination so what are we going to talk about today so today we are going to talk about two important news article the first is the decline in forex reserves now this forex reserves are very important topic from your exam point of view and therefore we need to study them in detail and the second talks about the introduction of sibb and dnb sustainability perception index for msmes now such questions are asked in your phase 1 फेज वन में आ जाते हैं वन मार्क का क्वेश्चन या फिर फेज टू आर बी आई एग्जाम में टू मार्क का क्वेश्चन के रूप में या वन मार्क क्वेश्चन के रूप में आते हैं राइट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक फॉर एक्स रिजर्व क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हियर कुड बी स्टेटमेंट वाइज एंड दीज क्वेश्चन विल कैरी टू मार्क्स सो दिस शुड बी वेरी क्लियर टू यू एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट फॉर एक्स रिजर्व इम्पैक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट्स एंड इन्फ्लेशन ऑन दी एक्सचेंज रेट्स ऑल ऑफ दीज वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इन डिटेल बट सिंस न्यूज आ रहे हैं सो वी हैव टू कवर इट एंड देन वी नीड टू रिवाइज इट इन आर माइंड ठीक है सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट बिफोर दैट इफ यूर सिल नॉट डाउनलोड इट आर ऐप यू कैन डू सो बाई गोइंग ऑन टू द गूगल प्ले स्टोर वहां जाओ ऐप को डाउनलोड करो एंड मेक यूज ऑफ दिस ऐप इन ऑर्डर टू फर्दर लेवरेज योर परफॉर्मेंस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वाई टू डिले द सेशन येस so first topic talks about decline in forex reserves to over 2 year low to 532.66 billion now if we talk about from the history history perspective say since 1991 the objective of rbi and the government had been to build up on our reserves so that these reserves could act as a cushion in times of volatility or any kind of emergencies for example in order to make payment for your imports or other kinds of external shocks to aisa dekha gaya hai ki bahut baar external environment ki wajah se india india ki jo economy mein hai economy hai us pe bahut zyada effect ya impact dekhne ko milti hai so in order to provide a cushion in order to have sufficient reserves with you in terms of foreign assets gold which are safe assets you can make use of these assets to like to compensate or to work against or to provide a cushion or absorb the losses because of the external shocks and this was taken because of the 1991 reforms lpg reforms whereby at that time we did not have sufficient forex reserves in order to sustain our imports and you we and i am sure you are going to agree on agree with me on this topic that forex reserves are very important if it if we talk about countries like sri lanka you all know sri lanka ki kitni buri halat hui thi right they wanted to take imf imf se bhi unko concession chahiye thi in order to support their economy because their forex were were declined it, and it got exhausted so forex reserves are very important and if we talk about india scenario then we had a huge we had a huge amount of forex reserve if we talk about in global terms as you all know the first or the largest holder of forex reserves is none other than china china has the highest forex reserves followed by japan and switzerland fir japan hai switzerland and in india is on the fourth position if we talk about india india stands at the fourth position in terms of forex reserves theek hai and if you talk about last year so in the last year in the month of september 2021 we had a record high of 642.45 billion usd dollars that means 642 billion dollars hamare paas forex ke roop mein the but that has been declining and in this 13 period month from september 2021 to october 2022 our forex reserves has 
fallen down to a two year low to 532 billion that means our forex reserves has fallen down by around 11 110 billion 110 billion dollars ठीक है तो यही news है कि हमारी forex reserves बहुत जल्दी deplete कर रही है ठीक है and as I've also talked about uh, now since and what are the reasons for the decline in forex reserves we'll be talking about in the next slide but before that let us first understand ki forex reserves hota kya hai we've already talked about this in much detail just a few crisp understanding ki forex reserves kya hote hain so these are basically reserves that are kept in terms of assets now these assets could be in terms of foreign currencies since forex reserves hain to foreign currency ki terms mein we are keeping certain assets right so these are certain assets held by the central bank of a country in india it is the rbi in order to support the economy in times of external shocks and these uh, forex reserves includes of bonds treasury bills and other government securities so ye foreign currencies ke form mein hoti hai aap isko t bills ke form mein bonds ke form mein aur government securities ke form mein bhi rakh sakte ho now suppose a question comes that rbi is not authorized to keep forex reserves in terms of bonds kya ye statement sahi hoga ya galat hoga the statement will be wrong because as we have seen this forex reserves consist of bonds t bills and government securities so these are all kinds of bonds only right isliye ye statement aapka galat hoga if you talk about the components i am sure you all must be knowing it and we have also discussed in detail in one of our rbi 247 video but if you do not know then there are four major components or four components of forex reserves the highest being the foreign currency assets to hum directly currency form mein bhi store karte hain for example dollar ke form mein rakh liya ya fir jis country ke sath zyada trading hoti hai hamari for example uk ka jo pound sterling hai uske form mein rakh liya chinese renmin bhi rakh li so all of these foreign currency are kept as an asset and are known as foreign currency assets and this has the highest percentage then we have gold we also keep forex reserves in terms of gold as you all know gold is one of the safest asset that is considered right and third is as sdrs special drawing rights with imf as you all know imf issues sdrs to sdrs ki form mein bhi hai and last is the reverse tranche position rtp in charo ke baare mein we've already discussed this in detail kya hota hai you need to write it down in the comment section now let's talk about the reasons for the decline in india's forex reserve three major reasons hain the first is obviously to defend the rupee since rupee has been depreciating a lot and we talk about last month september end tak ki baat kare our rupee had depreciated to rupees 82 per dollar 1 dollar equal to rupees 82 now as we all know that the exchange rate of our country of india is not fixed it is market determined so there is it is a free floating currency our rupee is a free floating currency however we cannot let our rupee depreciate to such levels because we also import a major chunk of it right hamari jo import hai wo kafi zyada hai we talk about crude oil we import around 85 percent of our requirement apart from that we also import certain other items and there's a reason why we are in current account deficit so if we are not supporting the rupee if you're not defending the rupee then our current account deficit is going to aggravate further and it will result in higher deficits for the country okay the rbi has to intervene and defend the rupee and why why it is defending the rupee because of the pressure that uh, that has been created on the rupee because of global developments. Global developments could be first, the inflation that has been increasing world over, the crisis situation created by the Russia-Ukraine war, and the increase in prices of crude oil resulting in more of import by India. And that import has been resulting in importing of inflation from these countries. And central banks across the country has also been tried to increase the interest rates in order to curtail their the inflation level in their country. The global developments ke wajah se, 
we have been seeing pressures on the in on the indian rupee and therefore rbi has been intervening into the market by making use of the forex reserves in order to defend the rupee now this intervention is also required because we need to curtail or reduce the volatility into the market okay but one thing that should be kept in mind as per what our finance minister nirmala sitaraman had to say is that we should not be defending to that level that our forex reserves goes down drastically because these forex reserves also provide as a import cover for our country to is tarike se they are an import cover because we need to import certain items we cannot कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑयल हो गया क्रूड ऑयल हो गया वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट दैट कितना भी महंगा क्यों ना हो जाए दिज आर आर इन इलास्टिक डिमांड एंड वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट दीज राइट सो इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग सफिशियंट फॉर एक्स रिजर्व दैन वी विल नॉट बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड ए कवर टू आर इम्पोर्ट्स एंड अगेन डेफिशियंसी कंडीशन विल बी क्रिएटेड इन द इकोनॉमी एज हैज बिन द केस विद श्रीलंका ठीक है तो इसीलिए हमें इंटरवीन करना पड़ रहा है बट वी शुड ट्राई एंड मैनेज एंड बैलेंस द फॉरेक्स रिजर्व्स एस वेल इसको हम ज्यादा गिरने नहीं दे सकते एंड दैट्स द रीजन व्हाई वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई दैट आरबीआई हैड कम अप विद सर्टेन मेजर्स इन ऑर्डर टू बूस्ट द फॉरेक्स फ्लोज तो फॉरेक्स फ्लोज को बूस्ट करने के लिए आर बी आई हैजेकन सर्टन मेजर्स इन ऑर्डर टू लिबरलाइज इट What are these measures? We have already talked about it. You need to revise from your July monthly PDF or from the RBI two four seven videos. Okay. Second is the aggressive policy of the US Fed. As I have mentioned, because of increasing inflation in developed countries as well, they have been tightening their monetary policy and increasing the rates, increasing the rates or rates of interest in their country. and since as you know us first it is a developed country and second its currency that is dollar is considered to be a safe asset people have been the fpi the foreign portfolio investors have been trying to sell whatever they have investments in india taking out their money and investing in the us and therefore we have seen large capital outflows by fpi that is they have become the net sellers वो सेलर्स बन चुके हैं दे आर सेलिंग देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन इंडिया एंड मूविंग टू देयर ओन होम कंट्री ठीक है एंड थर्ड रीजन इज वैल्यूएशन लॉस जिसकी वजह से हमारा फॉरेक्स रिजर्व्स कम हो रहा है वाई इज अ वैल्यूएशन लॉस वैल्यूएशन लॉस एज सिंपल बिकॉज ऑफ अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द यू डॉलर फॉरेक्स रिजर्व में फॉरन करेंसी एक्ट्स भी होते हैं एंड सिंस आर सिंस यू एस डॉलर हैज बिन अप्रिशिएटिंग अगेंस्ट ऑल अदर करेंसीज नॉट ओनली ऑफ इंडियन करेंसी बट अगेंस्ट ऑल अदर करेंसीज दैट हैज बिन रिजल्टिंग इन अ वैल्यूएशन लॉस इन अग्रीगेट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन अ डिक्लाइन इन गोल्ड प्राइसेज गोल्ड प्राइसेज में डिक्लाइन है अब आप बोलो कि गोल्ड प्राइसेज में क्यों डिक्लाइन है सो द सिंपल रीजन फॉर द डिक्लाइन इन गोल्ड प्राइसेज इज बिकॉज people have started shifting their investment from gold to these bonds and debentures or to or to government bonds or government tbs where they are getting higher interest rates since us ki jo bond hai us pe interest rates aapko zyada mil rahi hain and people have been shifting their investment jinhone gold mein investment kiya tha wo yahan se hatkar they are investing in government bonds see सेफ्टी पर्पज से देखा जाए तो गोल्ड की भी उतनी ही सेफ्टी है जितनी गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड्स की है बट द एक्स्ट्रा फीचर दैट यू आर गेटिंग हियर इज दैट इन केस ऑफ गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड्स यू आर नाउ गेटिंग अ हायर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी टाइटनिंग बाय दीज कंट्रीज हाउ एर गोल्ड पे एस सच कुछ नहीं मिल रहा है एंड देर फोर सिंस देर इज लेस डिमांड फॉर गोल्ड वी हैव सीन अ डिक्लाइन इन द प्राइसिस ऑफ गोल्ड and since gold is also a major component of forex reserves as a result our total forex reserves have been declining if we talk about uh, in percentage then around 67% of the decline in forex reserve is because of valuation changes so this is a major reason defending rupee bhi nahi hai ye bhi nahi hai it is the valuation loss that has created a 67% decline in india's forex reserves I hope this is clear to you, crystal clear to you. Now let's move forward to the next news. The next news talks about creation of an sustainability perception index. So who all are involved? 
So first and foremost, this index is for MSMEs, micro, small, and medium enterprises. And as you all know, these are or these functions under SIPB. Therefore, this MOU, the MOU that has been signed, the Memorandum of Understanding has been signed between SIPB and Dun and Bradstreet. Now, this Dun and Bradstreet is an American company dealing with data and analytics. Providing with data to for business conditions. So business conditions के लिए data analytics provide करती है, and they have together come close in order to develop and implement sustainability perception index for MSME. Now the sustainability perception index will will try to provide information to all the policymakers and the stakeholders. On the quantitative measurement of the adoption of ECG measures. So since sustainability की ये बात कर रहे हैं, in sustainability they are trying to measure in quantitative terms sustainability को in terms of ESG. ESG stands for environmental, social and governance. So they are trying to bring certain certain innovations or they are trying to follow the norms of environment, social and governance in order to have sustainability into the long run if we talk about this index this index will be created or prepared quarterly the so quarterly prepare ki jayegi jointly by sidb and dun street and they are going to provide a way forward for the businesses towards adopting an esg framework logo ko msmes ko specifically encourage karenge that you should also adopt the esg framework okay how is this Index gonna work. So this index will capture business sentiments. जैसे आपने purchasing manufacturers index पढ़ी होगी या manufacturing index जो होती है हमारी PMI. उसके अलावा RBI बहुत सारे surveys conduct कराता है, right? Consumer confidence survey. So similar on the similar lines we have this sustainability perception index, which will try to analyze and capture the sentiments of the businesses. through a survey so survey method ko use karke businesses ke sentiments ko capture karna hai about the preceding quarter ki last quarter mein what was the business condition and what is their outlook for the for the upcoming quarter theek hai and based on that they are trying to gain or collect valuable insights to be used for these msmes theek hai so And now, if we talk about the number of MSMEs that will be covered under this survey, so this survey will cover the sentiments and awareness of around 250 MSMEs. As of now, 250 MSMEs' ki sentiments ko capture करने की कोशिश की जाएगी, and this 250 MSMEs जो होंगे, उनके manufacturing और services sector को cater किया जाएगा, right? The survey will talk about sentiments with respect to the manufacturing and services. एम एस एम ई तो जितने भी एम एस एम ईज है दे विल हैव दे दे आर वर्किंग इधर इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और द सर्विस सेक्टर अक्रॉस इंडिया एंड सच काइंड ऑफ एन इंडेक्स इज द फर्स्ट सस्टेनेबिलिटी इंडेक्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू एम एस एम ई एंड देर फॉर यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट इट हैज बिन साइन बाय सिडबी ठीक है एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दिस इंडेक्स इज गोइंग टू एसेस and understand the role and consequences of following government rules and regulations government policies on environmental practices uske alawa it is also going to talk about the social impact kya social impact padega what is the role and impact of the social aspects right providing work life balances to the employee of these msmes or providing timely remuneration with incentive प्लस डाइवर्सिटी जेंडर डाइवर्सिटी कितना है वेदर द पीपल इन द इन दिस एम एस एम ईज आर गेटिंग इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी और नॉट वेदर देर इज अ फेयर कॉम्पिटिशन बिटवीन टू एम एस एम ईज और नॉट ऑल ऑफ दीज एंड ऑल ऑफ द ऑल ऑफ देयर इम्पैक्ट विल बी टॉक्ट अबाउट इन दिस एम एस एम ई इंडेक्स नॉन एज दिस सस्टेनेबिलिटी परसेप्शन इंडेक्स ठीक है एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट दे आर गोइंग टू कैप्चर सर्टन डेटा सर्टन क्रिटिकल डेटा दैट विल दैट विल बी यूज इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन सच एम एस एम ईज एंड इन फ्यूचर इनोवेट दिस एम एस एम ईज सो दैट दे वर्क ऑन द लाइन्स ऑफ द ई एस जी फ्रेमवर्क सो इज देयर अ लॉजिक बिहाइंड इट वॉट इज द मेजर रीजन सो द अल्टीमेट एम ऑफ इंट्रोड्यूसिंग सच अ इंडेक्स सच अ सस्टेनेबिलिटी परसेप्शन इंडेक्स इज टू मेक द इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड मार्केट्स more attractive for sustainable capital and investment that means as you all know esg framework kya hota hai environment social and governance right 
and there are investors all over the world who are now thinking to invest into long term sustainable sustainable projects as a projects that are not only providing you with the profits that they want they which fulfills their personal objective apart from that they are also sustainable they are not creating some kind of uh distress for the environment or for the government or for the social sector so there are people and there has been an increasing trend of investing in esg based projects or sustainability based projects and therefore by by having such an mou and by creating such a survey these people can now make use of this survey in order to help this msmes to work in accordance with the esg framework thereby attracting more people to invest in this msmes so this is nothing but to revolutionize and develop the msme sector of the country i hope this is clear to you now questions for you are now since we have talked about forex reserves and as you all know these are all related to your balance of payment इम्पोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट की हमने बात करी है बेस ऑन दैट वी हैव सर्टन क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू अगर क्वेश्चंस की आंसर नहीं आता आंसर्स प्रोवाइडेड है एक तो दूसरी इफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड सर्टन क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑलवेज राइट इट डाउन इन दी कमेंट सेक्शन राइट एंड आई बी आंसरिंग यू एंड रिजॉल्विंग योर डाउट्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सीज विद रेफरेंस टू बी ओ पी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉन्स्टिट्यूट दी करंट अकाउंट सो वी हैव फोर items the first is balance of trade second foreign assets third balance of invisibles and special drawing rights we need to identify the correct constituents of current account moving forward to the next question the next question says if the central bank wants to intervene in the forex market in order to support weakening rupee agar rupee weakened hai and rbi wants to support such weakening of rupee then the forex reserves are likely to increase decrease remain unchanged or there is no direct relationship between intervening by the central bank and forex market and fourth it is gonna expand exponentially increase now moving forward to the third question which says which of the following statements are correct so we have three statements the first says recently an mou was signed between cii and dnb so yahan pe confuse nahi hona hai ye bhi industries ki baat karta hai but here we are specifically talking about msmes MSMEs की बात हो रही है राइट एंड यू शुड नो कि यहाँ पे कौन है मेंबर टू डेवलप सस्टेनेबिलिटी परसेप्शन इंडेक्स फॉर दी इंडस्ट्रीज सेकेंड एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट इंडस्ट्रीज बट फॉर एम एस एम ईज द इंडेक्स विल बी प्रिपेयर एनुअली इन ऑर्डर टू गॉच बिजनेस सेंटिमेंट एंड थर्ड द इंडेक्स विल प्रोवाइड अ क्वान्टिटेटिव मेजरमेंट ऑफ द एडोपन ऑफ ई एस जी फ्रेमवर्क यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स Moving forward to the last question, which says, consider the following statements and identify the correct one. So we have five statements. We need to identify the correct one. So it says, gold constitutes the largest component of forex reserves. Second, to stop appreciation of rupee, RBI should sell dollars from its forex reserves. Third, a current account surplus implies a higher outflow of forex than inflow. And fourth, forex reserves are external assets in the form of gold. special drawing rights of world bank and foreign currency assets accumulated and fifth a rise in forex reserve may help in strengthening the rupee against dollar so you need to identify the correct statement and this was all for today that i wanted to discuss with you the answers are already shared over here and this pdf will be made available to you over the telegram group i hope you like the session in case of any doubt you can always write it down to me in the comment section for the enrolled students make use of the discussion forum and till then keep learning and bye bye take care